Hello everyone and welcome back to another paint with me video. In the last one, I was working on these two and I really like how they turned out, but I have been stumped on the left hand side of this piece for quite a while. You can see here I had started sketching it up, but it took me probably three or four months to actually finish it. This is the reference picture for what I'm going for and that's them side by side. You're gonna see me struggle through this video because like I said before, it took me a while. I did put it to the side for a few months and I didn't even wanna to touch it because I wasn't liking how it was turning out. But once again, this was a trust the process kind of painting, as I said in my last video. I did do a few different new techniques in this that I really enjoyed and wanna implement in the future. Um, and I did also learn that this mixed media paper doesn't hold up to watercolor being on the back or I guess in large amounts. I couldn't really figure it out. It just peeled up a lot and it made me really not like how the sky was turning out. Um, that was kind of a trust the process because the bottom where the grass is was doing the same thing earlier. And obviously as it dried, the, um, the peeling up areas kind of like went away. It wasn't as bad. Um, and later I did find out that once the sky did dry, it wasn't looking like that anymore. However, I was super careful about adding too much more paint or water on top of it. Um, I did end up doing a little bit more color on top just to make it kind of more cohesive into it because when I get to a certain spot here, I just did not like how the background colors were meshing with the shrine colors. Um, but I ended up getting to a, a good enough spot that I was happy with. In other news, uh, it's been obviously a long time since I worked on this piece. In that time, a little life update, I decided to build my own PC. If y'all didn't know, I really like gaming. Um, I have a Switch and an Xbox that I love playing and I've always wanted a PC but I had no clue. They you know, first part to even building one, but I really didn't want to just buy a finished one. I kind of wanted to customize it on my own. So last month or two months ago, I decided to start researching into how to build a PC and everything that goes into it. I went down so many rabbit holes, but I am happy to say that it is successfully built and I can play games now. So I was thinking about potentially starting to either stream or post videos of the gameplays I do on this channel as well. If you guys think you would be interested in that, please let me know. If you'd rather I put it on a different channel, also let me know. But I think I might just put it on this channel since I have kind of been with this channel for a while now. Obviously not posting regularly, but um, it's kind of my channel <laughs> so I can do what I want. So if you do start seeing gameplays and you're interested, please let me know. I'd love to see uh, what you think. And if that's maybe not your jam, if you don't like watching gameplays or you're not interested in video games, that is completely fine too. I will still be posting my art, um, either paint with me's or some digital art that I work on. I am potentially trying to stream on Twitch as well, some of my digital art and playing video games. Uh, so yeah, there'll still be a little bit of something for everyone. I do hope you enjoy me kind of opening this next chapter in my content creation. Um, I'm just doing it to have fun. Obviously, I don't do this for a full-time job. Um, it's just kind of a hobby at this point. Um, just something I like to do in my free time. And of course, I will try to shoot for more regular postings. Uh, don't think just because I am starting with game content that I that means you're only gonna get one video a month still, you know, either one art video or one game video. I am going to try to shoot for uh, two videos or more a month. And I have started posting some shorts, YouTube shorts of past TikToks that I've made. I obviously have a lot of content over there. And if you either missed it or you don't have a TikTok or, you're, you know, you just don't want to scroll back, I will be posting some of my older TikToks here as well, um, just for more content um, in between longer videos that I post. So I hope you enjoy. And if you do want to see more about the gaming side of things, I actually did record the entire setup and building of my PC um, from start to finish and all the parts that I use to build it. So if you're interested in that, I will be posting that eventually. <laughs> I have all the, the videos, I just kind of got to edit it all together. One eternity later. Welcome back. It's been like two months 
three months. I got really frustrated with how the color was turning out in the sunset back here and the fact that it was peeling up really bad when I tried to apply more water. So I got a little frustrated with this piece. I stepped away from it for a while, um, but I'm back now. I want to tackle it. I want to be done with this. So let's do it. In all honesty, the main reason I got back to this piece, because this is how frustrated I was with it and how little I wanted to work on it because of how the colors are turning out. I made a promise with someone that if I finally worked on this, they would work on some of their music stuff. Um, and obviously it worked because I actually did finish this piece and I am happy I had. Um, again, I do have some ideas of more pieces I want to do in the future. I've sketched out a few things. Um, a few of those had to be put on pause due to building the PC um, and I still got to figure out a good way to set up my desk now that both includes my PC and gaming setup plus my art still um, and then once I do that uh, we should be in the clear for more watercolors and Himi gouache I recently picked up um, I have done a color test and I will be able to post that shortly um, but I'm really excited I've never worked with gouache before I'm kind of scared but also really excited for a little something new in here and maybe the paper will actually hold up better with the gouache versus the watercolor so we'll see this is my first sketchbook in quite a while and i'm not destroying it obviously i'm being pretty precious with it and being intentional on how i do my spreads um but i'm also you know dabbling a little bit more in the watercolors and obviously the gouache some pencil um colored pencils kind of thing which i don't normally do on a sketchbook i normally keep it all like pretty standard um I think the last sketchbook I had, I maybe did a few ink wash pages, and then once I realized that the paper was obviously not watercolor paper, I stopped and it was just pretty much uh, pen and ink drawings the rest of the time. But here, I really do want to have like every other page to be colorful, um, so I'm really hoping the gouache works out um, and I'm able to get a good handle on it. Um, I've done obviously watercolor, acrylic, I've done oil painting in the past, um, gouache is the one that I haven't done so I'm a little nervous about it but also really excited. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. I feel like if you have now made it almost 8 minutes into the video, uh, I should probably mention if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, um, especially if you're excited for the future content. I talked about the gameplays, the gouache paintings, filling out the sketchbook even more. Um, and seeing some of my digital art as well. So please subscribe if you enjoy what you're seeing and you do want to see those future videos that are coming out. Um, and feel free to comment. I love seeing them and knowing that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Um, and if you want to see anything specific, please let me know as well. And I finally finished the left side. I'm so happy that it is done. Granted, I wish it could have been a little better, but I just had to finally just finish it. Now I'm currently working on these little uh, illustrations I want to add both above and below the mini portraits. And at first I was going to do them in black and white, like a pen and ink style. But right before I started this, I was like, oh, I think it'd tie together way more if it was in color, like the entire rest of the spread. And I quickly realized I did not like that decision. Um, I tried saving it as much as possible, but I really don't like how either of these little illustrations I did turned out. Um, I got it to the point where I'm okay with it being done as is, but I definitely had a completely different image of how it would be in my head, and it definitely did not hit the mark. Um, so let me know if you like them. Um, I, I don't even know if doing it in pen and ink, like a black and white style, would even look any better like maybe I just should have just left it blank um but I really wanted to fill the page I don't normally do that so I wanted to be intentional about filling the pages and all the gaps that there were originally I also wanted to add um the Legend of Zelda in the center of the mini portraits in the Sheikah language um the little symbols and true to form I think I said in my last video I was probably gonna get too annoyed or too tired of the piece and I, I didn't want to painstakingly find every little 
um, letter and transcribe that over. Um, so I, I ended up not doing it and I'm fine with that. I think I would have run out of space to considering both of the illustrations kind of um, poke a little bit more into that middle area where I would have done it. I could always do that in a future piece if I want to do another Legend of Zelda. Um, I could do it then uh, in a piece that maybe doesn't try my patience every second of the way. I said it in my last video and I'll say it again in this one. This entire spread was a trust the process from beginning to end and could just be that I'm a little rusty. I haven't done uh, traditional art in quite some time and it's been even longer since I've done some watercolor art. So it could totally just be that, um, but I'm gonna blame the spread because I can. In reality, it's probably 100% the fact that I'm a little rusty when it comes to traditional art. But hopefully that changes uh, the more spreads I do and the more art I do in this sketchbook. So I'm really excited for the future spreads I'm gonna work on and I hope you join me for those as well. four months of working on this I finally finished mixed emotions I really love how these two turned out I'm like 80% about how I like this one turning out the shrine came out really nice I love how the grass came out the sky in the background mm, I wish I had faded back the colors a little bit more but the paper wasn't taking the color well in this big of a space so I added more and then I added too much but I do like I had this, this like almost like a stippling technique with like the colors overlapping anyways these two <clears throat> I thought they were gonna turn out a lot cuter I feel like I managed to save the Koroks they look all right but this down here ugh. um and I don't know if I should have just stuck with my original plan but this is how it turned out um I do want to do more Legend of Zelda watercolor art because I had a lot of fun with this. So maybe I uh, redeem myself in the next piece I do um, and make it a little bit cleaner. And maybe now I've learned my lesson on these two, either make them a full colored piece or just black and white ink drawings, I guess. Um, but this is how it turned out. I hope you like it. and. Um, I'm gonna get started on the next piece because I have a lot of ideas and I've been procrastinating on this way too long. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week. Bye!